Good morning or afternoon. Today I am going to be showing you how to make sure that you are logging your practice time. We do require that all students using Smart Music, that is virtual students especially, log in 10 minutes of Smart Music practice per class period because that is your class time. So first of all, how you get to the practice section, also known as exploration. It is not this. This is the time that you spend on your test and that is separate. So for practice time, you go down to where it says method books, click method books. Your book, if you are a sixth grader or a seventh grader, is Accent on Achievement book one. If you are an eighth grader, your book is Accent on Achievement book two. I'm going to proceed as if I am a seventh grade band student. So I click on this and then it's going to show me all the songs in the book. And let's say today we are working on numbers 12 and 13. So I'm going to start here with number 12. Click that one. Open. Open. And then that is going to open for me to go ahead and start playing. All right. Now, in order for Smart Music to track your practice time, notice that it says practice right here. The recording of your practice time does not start until you hit this red button. So if you're a sneaky snake and you're thinking, well, I'll just log in, just leave it at the home screen, you will report zero minutes and zero seconds of practice time. It only counts the time that you are actively playing your instrument. One more time, it only counts the time that you are actively playing your instrument. And that means that any time that you spend using the tuner does not count as time that you are practicing. So the tuner is a great resource. You totally should use it before you start. It does not count toward your practice time. Your practice time only starts when you press the record button. And then when the record button is over, you've reached the end of the song, the recording time for your practice time is over. So you must log 10 minutes of solid playing per class period. Now you may be wondering, how do I track that? How do I make sure that I've met that goal? And I would say, I'm glad you asked. I can show you that. You click on this little uh, squarey um, waffle, click the, click the waffle, and then go to where it says practice analysis for performers. That is you. So you click that and you're going to see this confusing looking screen. Um, what you should do is leave all this default, especially up here. Mine looks a little different from yours because I'm in all three grades in my student account. So yours should just have your class right here. And then you've got your analytics right here. So because I did not press the record button, I have zero minutes of practice time today. I have zero minutes of practice time in the last seven days. I have less than a minute in practice time in the last 30 days. And if you see right here, it says assignments less than a minute. So the assignments analytic will be purple. If you have practice time, which you should have 10 minutes of per class period, that will be blue. So this less than one minute is literally the time that I spent recording one of the other tutorials for you. So as you can see, to meet that 10 minutes, it is going to require you to play your instrument and it is going to require you to log that. So let me go over that process one more time. So again, this is your testing time and 100% yes, this can totally count for your 10 minutes per day, but it is not the only thing that you should play. You should be playing out of the method book. So in order to log the practice times, scroll down, click method books, find your appropriate accent book, click that, and then you will find the song that you want to play. Click open two times. And then when it loads up, after you have tuned and after you are ready, click record. And of course, you can mess around with it, change the accompaniment, turn the accompaniment on and off. That's totally fine. 
Um, from this screen, if you want to go and play another song, you can click this drop down box and move all around the accent book. So let's say I want to just, for fun, let's pretend it's December and I want to play some Jingle Bells. You can just click Jingle Bells from there and it will open up Jingle Bells for you. Now, one more time, I keep clicking Don't Allow. Please make sure that you click Allow or the piece will not be able to hear you. So one more time, 10 minutes of practice time per class period. One more time, you must click the record button for it to record that time for you. And one more time, to access that, you click the uh, strangely all white Rubik's Cube practice analysis per for performers today. Okay, so hopefully by the end of the class time, yours looks substantially different from this. So I hope that this tutorial video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please send me a Canvas message.